What's up? My name is Malcolm. This is my sous chef, Ellie. And today we're making vegan baked chocolate mousse, AKA brownies. Brownies. You ready? Yeah. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dark chocolate and Miyoko's butter uh, and we're gonna place that over a double boiler to melt. So take a little stir here with the rubber spatula and you want to gently melt your chocolate and butter on a low to medium heat. When the chocolate is completely melted with the butter, reserve it off the heat to the side and then we'll mix in our other ingredients. We're going to sift our dry ingredients. We're going to whip up the chickpea water, and then we're going to add in a teaspoon of coconut sugar, okay? You're going to do that, all right? You understand? All right, perfect. We're going to add in a teaspoon of coconut sugar and continue to whip it to stiff peaks. So, Ellie, can you add in? Can you add that in, please? Perfect. One more. Okay, next stage, we're going to uh, take our uh, date paste and vanilla extract, put that inside the chocolate. And then we'll add in the avocado oil. Okay, so that coconut sugar that you have, just add that to your dry ingredients. And then we'll add it to the chocolate mixture. All right, so this looks good. And then we're gonna add the aquafaba in there and then I'll let you mix it, okay? okay. Typically, you don't really add a stiff peaked meringue to brownies. But what this is gonna do, it's gonna change the texture up a little bit. It's almost gonna be like a uh, baked chocolate mousse. Incorporated, we add our chocolate chips. Does it look yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you like chocolate? Yes. How much do you like chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> That's how much you like it? It's just chocolate? Mm -hmm. Do you love chocolate? to scoop vegan baked chocolate mousse batter inside these uh, muffin slash cupcake tins. So Ellie's going to put the cupcake liners and while she's doing that, I will scoop the batter into here. And I like to bake them inside of this because we want just like a small treat, you know? Like we don't want a very giant piece of brownie, but then also the date paste and uh, the aquafaba, this brownie is a little bit more fudgy and looser. By baking them in here, you don't have to worry about your brownie falling apart or it's difficult to cut because of the texture. So this way you have a small brownie bite, pop it in your mouth, no worries. A little yummy? We gotta bake it first. Season the top with a little bit of salt. Final stage here, we're going to bake this in a steam bath, okay? So it gets really exciting, all right? 
So at our home, we bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for about 20 minutes. And after 10 minutes uh, into the cooking, I actually rotate the pan to get an even distribution of heat on these guys. So they're cooked very, very nicely. All right, 20 minutes has been up. Let's open the oven and take out these uh, wow. delicious beauties. Wow. Yeah! Oh. Um, let it cool a little bit uh, before you actually remove um, the uh, pan outside of the water bath. Or you can remove it right, right away, but you might end up spilling water all over your delicious work, so be careful. I know you want to eat. We gotta wait, it's hot. Uh, muffin pan is cool to the touch now. I just want to show you uh, exactly like how fudgy and how juicy this uh, baked chocolate mousse brownie is gonna be when you take it out. We're gonna eat them uh, just to see how they taste. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Mm. So fudgy, right? Mm -hmm. well, so good? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this recipe. And uh, until next time, peace. See you later. You going in.